Hi, this is Kathy, and welcome to this deep dive on the hanged man from the tarot. So in this video, I'm going to talk about what the hanged man represents and some of the symbolism on the card and why this theme is coming up for such a lot of people right now, including me, and maybe how we can use its archetypal energies to get unstuck, to find the clarity that we need to open up to the flow again that we know we can enjoy. So if you enjoy this video, do please like, subscribe and leave a comment. I'd love to hear if it resonates. So first of all, the hanged man, he represents a process that happens in three stages. So the first thing is that you feel really stuck and powerless, um, sense of being helpless, going nowhere. Like you've got one foot on the accelerator, on the gas and one on the brake at the same time. So your wheels are spinning, but you're not going anywhere. And it's a feeling of being out of control. So typically there's nothing that you can do in your usual way that is making any inroads. And, you know, it's a, you see him suspended from this tree. This, and so it's like a sense of action being suspended. So your efforts probably won't be making much of a difference. And energy won't shift until some new level of awareness is reached that can only be found by going inwards. <clears throat> and that's a necessary thing to do. It's a necessary pause. And in the doing of going inwards, it's it's about relaxing, it's about surrendering and really letting go of the illusion that we actually have any control. The, when you're stuck, it forces you to go inwards. And it's in this space where you have that time to reflect and meditate on the situation that you find yourself in and also to really experience the, the true discomfort of all the feelings that you're feeling, because we need to feel the truth of our emotions uh, rather than push them down in, in order for them, for us to get back into flow. If we are resisting feeling, it's like we're saying no to life. We're saying no to the thing that life has brought us. So we're holding the flow up. So it's really important to uh, feel and accept everything as it is in the moment. And that's the only thing that can help get the, your flow going again. So let go of resistance um, because some things simply are out, out, they come out of left field, so they're out of our control, you know, but we still have to deal with them. He's also about conscious sacrifice. And this is the sacrifice um, for, for when we want something new to come into our lives, we have to be willing to let go of the old. We have to let go of old ways of being that don't serve us, old forms of thinking, old beliefs, limitations, and old patterns and habits that just don't serve us if we're going to move into who we're here to be. We have to suspend that ego mind, the, the personality mind that has, you know, that has been there as a constant, um, making us do the same things that we've always done. And of course that doesn't give us change. So we have to let that go to allow the true divine mind to um, and the true self to work through us. In this space of suspension, it's really frustrating. So we have to, and that that's the test for me anyway, that's a big test. So we have to develop those skills of patience and acceptance and allowance. And But it's in that space, you get chance to prepare yourself to take action from a different, more aligned way of being, a different perspective, um, and being ready for when the energy changes and you, you your flow is um, restored again, and you know things are moving. So the part, the third part of the process that the hangman represents is this breakthrough that comes from that major shift in perspective. So you've been kind of had your world upturned or, or for a time and in that period where you have had to surrender despite the discomfort when you fully let go and you of resistance and had that taken that time to contemplate life contemplate what what you uh really value what's important to you you get the realizations about your life and that's where your inner self becomes transformed and when you're in a reality changes for the better, 
but so your outer reality will change to reflect who you are on the inside. So now to the symbolism. So this is the hanged man from the iconic Rider Waite deck. And you can see he is hanging here in this, this T shape and he's hanging from the tree of life. And the tree of life is can it consists of a top bar and a, a horizontal bar and a vertical upright. And so this top bar, this is considered to be the, the horizontal path of life. So the, the path where we are just engaged in our routines and day-to-day -day living, and we're not so conscious. We're just on uh, in that sort of routine way of being. And so when this vertical comes, it's like there's a pattern interrupt opportunity. And this upright, it represents more of the um, into interference or interception by the divine uh, for it. And it's a stopping point. It makes us stop and reflect and, you know, reevaluate life. Um, so this is considered to be more um, a chance to reevaluate your thoughts and beliefs, your motivations, your emotions, your desires. It's a, an opportunity to be in presence and to start to feel into what some of your unconscious influences are. And it's this getting stuck on this horizontal path that causes us to go inside to connect with the, those uh, inner truths. The fact that he's suspended upside down, that is representative, representative of looking at a situation from a different perspective or the need to look at something from a different perspective. And you can see by the serene look on his face that he's actually quite peacefully waiting. He he knows that he needs to take the time for things to unfold so that he can see it in a different way. And in doing so, that's going to lead lead him into a state of enlightenment, which is what that the halo is around his head. So why is this coming up for a lot of people right now? Does the hangman's message resonate with you at all? Have you been hung up about something lately? Have you been, have you had like extended delays in something? Have you been through an illness or, you know, been laid up from an accident or anything like this? Has your flow stopped or your motivation for what you once did with enthusiasm, has that evaporated? And are you feeling like you can't carry on doing things in your work or relationships in the same old way, but something just can't seem to get moving? Well, this seems to be coming up for so many people and it's come up for almost every client of mine and it's come up for me. And it just seems like so many of us are going through a personal experience of something that's being mirrored externally in the world on a collective level, on, the, on that global level. And, you know, that is that for true, sustainable, positive change to take place in our lives, we just can't carry on doing things the same way that we've always done them. We have to find a better way that is aligned with the higher ideals of love, compassion, acceptance, connection and well-being for all. And that's rather than this pushing ahead and striving energy, this forcing our way forward um, of striving for money and power and status and to achieve at any cost. And there is a cost. There is such a big cost. So we have to do things differently, which means that we first have to be different. And as the hanged man represents, external change can only happen after inner transformation has taken place. But that takes significant inner work. And our capitalistic time-hungry, productivity-driven, patriarchal model of the world that we're so deeply programmed by doesn't value this kind of inner work. So it's not easy to surrender and to allow ourselves time for this kind of inner processing. However, if we don't do it consciously for ourselves, then the greater organizing intelligence of the universe will find a way to make it happen for you. So that's why some of these things are happening to so many of us.
So if you have experienced or are experiencing health issues or you've had an accident or something else has caused you to have to withdraw for an extended period of time from the doing machine, maybe this is an opportunity for you to use this time to reflect on what you most value in life. So just to give a little illustration of the hanged man as a, an example from my own life, how his three phases work. Just before Christmas or leading up to Christmas for the two, three months, really, I was really busy. Things were going so well. Um, I'd, you know, really been flying with the tarot work and the coaching. And then I launched a this Advent tarot series where I was doing a video every day for 25 days. And everything else that was still going on in, in my business and there was family stuff going on. There was preparation for Christmas. There was a lot happening. Uh, things were things were actually flowing really well but I was in this track that I couldn't get off it's like my mind was so busy in the doing and planning and thinking and there wasn't very much time for just um uh, chilling out and relaxing and reflecting uh and so when it came to boxing day once Christmas was out of the way I crashed and it it was like, okay, great. I can have a week off between Christmas and New Year and then be back for the New Year, you know, feeling good. And that just didn't happen. And um, so then I started to get frustrated and I was feeling all this inner tension that you know, I was resisting it. I, I wanted to get going. I wanted to get that feeling back that I'd had before where things were flowing and it was exciting. And it felt like everything was moving ahead. And it just had come to a stop. And I just, I, I had these ups and downs of um, feeling ill and get it. And then I'd come back and get some energy back and I'd do a little bit more and I'd crash again. And I just haven't been able to um, build up any kind of momentum. So because this happened for a number of weeks and I'm hoping, fingers crossed, <laughs> I might have come to the end of it. Uh, if I haven't, then, you know, that's something else to deal with. But um, I've had to surrender to this because I've just had brain fog. I haven't had the energy to do what I wanted to do. And instead, I have let go of pushing. I've let go of the shoulds and the have tos. I've relaxed. I've uh, focused on my health and eating well and looking after myself and just doing what really made me feel good when I had the energy to do it. Uh, so I've actually had quite a lot of fun and I haven't been stopped fully in my tracks and doing anything. I think so. I was just following what my heart wanted to do, what was easy, what was fun, what was inspiring in the moment. And if I didn't have the energy or I was feeling I should or I have to, I didn't do it. And I've also done a lot of inner work in during this space that's been created and you know a lot of uh, belief change work a lot of self-reflection and it's it's been an amazing time so there's a lot of things happening in this magical space of not doing that are that that feel like they're helping me kind of realign with what I'm meant to be doing it's brought me a lot of insights it's made me feel really expansive and excited about future projects um it's helped it's really helped me get off that mindset track of just do 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 go 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 and also it's taught me that I need to receive for myself to bring things into me when I've had ideas normally I'll go oh that's a great idea I must share it and so it comes in straight out and this time it's like no I need to bring this in, savour it, feel how it is for me in my life and fill my reservoir. And then when I'm full, then I'll share it. And this is uh, quite a different shift for me. And I'm sure that the this space that's been created and this like shift in perspective that the hanged man represents has somehow been instrumental in helping me have one of my best financial months in a long time. Uh, so it's been quite miraculous, really, because I haven't done so much at all. So over to you now, if this card does resonate for you, here's a few reflection questions to help you find an inner shift. So 
are you feeling stuck in any area of your life right now? And when you tune in, can you feel a sense of inner resistance? So if you kind of, if you slow everything down, you drop out of your head and you feel into your body, do you feel a sense of resistance to what's going on? And what else do you feel? Do you feel powerless? Is it a sense of uncertainty, sense of frustration, sense of not being able to accept something? Or are you trying to control something or make something happen according to your will, your goals, your plans? If so, where could you surrender more in your life? How might it feel if you let go and just accepted the situation as it is without the need for something to change or to have to fix anything? What would that be like? You sit with it and just allow the possibility of that and see what happens, see what insights and awareness you get when you sit with that question. And if you could trust that you were always in the right place and that life is always working in your favor, and it's happening for you and not to you. How does that change anything? Does it feel true? Or do you feel more of a victim to your circumstances? So just feel into those questions and see what bubbles up. Maybe you can journal on it or, or just sit with those kind of questions in meditation and just notice what you notice. And I'd love to hear what you uh, become aware of so do please leave a comment if if you discover anything within yourself or if anything in this video has resonated I'd love to hear and lastly you can tune into the archetypal energy of the hanged man and his relaxed and serene demeanor as he patiently contemplates life allowing insights to come and knowing that he's being prepared for his next chapter which will all occur in divine timing so Imagine that you can draw those qualities into yourself by either meditating on the image of the hanged man or on the ideas that he represents that I've shared in this video and just notice how it makes you feel. Maybe it will give you a greater sense of inner expansion, spaciousness and peace as tension and control is released and maybe into that space something new and more aligned will, will come to you. So I hope that's been helpful for you today. And if you need some extra support from me to help you move through any stuckness or to find a more empowering perspective on your situation, why not book in for a transformational tarot session or just check out my Align and Flow one-to-one -one coaching program. The details and links are in the description below. But thanks so much for watching this expose on the Hanged Man. And do please share what, what comes up for you. I'd love to know. So bye for now.